everyone and welcome back as promised i'm gonna tell you guys how i lost weight in two weeks without exercising by just changing the way that i eat and also i'm using a new camera please let me know if you guys prefer this one or if you guys prefer the other one i just thought i'll give this one a try because i've never ever filmed from this and i hope that the whole video is in focus okay so without making my intro too long i did a poll on instagram and 98 percent of you asked me to tell you guys my secrets and my tips of what diet i've been following i'm not sure if diet is the right term to use but uh, yeah let's just go with it and just before i get into it further let me just mention that i'm not a dietitian i'm not a professional so in case you want to follow the steps that i've been taking i would definitely recommend you guys to kind of do your own research to know whether it's good for you whether it's going to work for your body type if you have any deficiencies like i do so it's best to kind of you know research and do your own work before you get into it okay and now the intro is too long and i'm talking too much so let's get started i'm someone who hates working out like i went to the gym at a point for one and a half years i hated it my body would ache all the time and uh, eventually i started doing it because i was just like this is what i need to do this is just what's going to work for me i need my body to look like this and i have to go to the gym but it just wasn't my thing i wasn't enjoying it i dreaded the days that came when i had to wake up early go to gym and i just hated it once you start working out if you're not going to change your diet you're not going to see results so i would highly recommend if you want to change your body and if you want to become more fit in life to start with your diet first and then once you get the hang of a more easygoing diet then start working out because this is what has worked for me so far i'm going to share with you guys six tips that i follow for the past month and that I saw amazing results with zero workout put in. Tip number one is to only eat when you're hungry. Now I know this sounds crazy and everyone's probably like, don't you eat only when you're hungry? But no, that's not the case. Especially if you're in a Sri Lankan household, breakfast is ready, lunch is ready, and dinner is ready. You kind of call downstairs or you prepare it, and then you just have to eat with your family. And it's kind of like a tradition to sit down and eat with your family. But that's not the case and this is something that doesn't work for me. And I personally think that you don't need to have breakfast, lunch and dinner. I know this may sound crazy but I feel like we've been brought up and our minds are kind of programmed to think you need to eat breakfast, you need to have lunch, you need to have dinner. But I've sort of switched that around and I only eat when I'm hungry. For example, if dinner is ready and I'm not feeling For example, if dinner is ready downstairs and I'm not hungry, I'll probably not have the entire meal. I'll have a small snack and I'll try my best to go to sleep early. Just kind of train your stomach to only eat when you're hungry. This is something that worked for me and it's done wonders. Tip number two is to drink at least two liters of water a day. I know this seems like such a common tip you guys, but it's so, so important. And the bright side of it is if you do drink at least two liters, minimum two liters of water a day, you also fill your stomach up and then you don't find the need to kind of snack throughout your day. So, this is the bottle that I carry around with me everywhere. Not only does it stop you from buying plastic bottles of water whenever you're thirsty, it also keeps you hydrated. I try to have at least four of these every day. I know it seems so small and just four of these doesn't seem like a lot. But when you actually start drinking water, you'll feel the difference. And to be honest, I don't believe that the myth that if you start drinking water, you get rid of dry skin. This hasn't worked for me and my skin is pretty dry. But I can tell you that it is really, really good to flush your system out and I would highly recommend you to drink at least two liters of water a day. I fill one of these guys up in the night and I keep it near my bedside table. And the first thing I do is when I wake up in the morning, I'll try and finish one bottle of water while going through my emails. And that's kind of how I get my day started. Tip number three, brunch. Now this is something that has changed my diet immensely and this is something that works for me perfectly i know breakfast is the most important meal of the day i told you guys when i wake up in the morning i have one of these bottles of water and that keeps me full for about an hour or two after i wake up till i do some work and then i eat lunch so i don't have breakfast i have lunch quite early i'm sorry guys about the background as there's a lot of cars going on the road so i try to have lunch quite early so that we are ever having breakfast occasionally i'll have my smoothie bowl but the smoothie bowl keeps me full for a very short period of time so i figured that this kind of view so i figured that this process works for me much better and after i have my brunch it keeps me full throughout the day until i need to have dinner and if i want a snack i will have a snack probably some almonds walnuts or apples 
or if I want, I'll order some junk food. I'll have whatever I want in between. Tip number four is to serve right. This step is so important. I feel like I'm saying this about every step that I'm telling you guys, but these are things that I've religiously followed. You know, when we grow up, we were taught to serve the rice first and then to put the curries on top of the rice. I find this way of eating so unhealthy and this is the kind of method that we've been taught. So this is what we think is right. So I'm going to show you guys in diagrams on this side rather than showing my food because I feel like so many of you can relate to seeing diagrams. So this is your plate. First serve the curries onto your plate and then do you see the remaining part on your plate? Then you fill that space with rice. Other than doing it this way, first you serve the rice and then you put your curries on top of the rice. Do you see how much of rice is on your plate and how unwanted that is? And fill your stomach up with vegetables or fish or meat if you do eat meat and uh, keep the little part of your plate for rice and that's more than enough. And once you start eating like this for a week or two, you'll soon start to see that the way you were serving before was super unhealthy. This is one of my favorite tips that I practice uh, probably for the past two months now. Tip number five is breakfast for dinner. Now when I shared this tip with my friends, uh, they all kind of looked at me like I was crazy. So they said no, that they needed to have a proper meal in the night and that this wasn't going to work for them. But I would recommend you guys to try it for at least a week before you jump into conclusions or before you decide that it doesn't work for you. Always try and then you know whether it works for you or not. When I have my brunch around 12, 12, 30 during the day, then I'll have a snack if I need to. I'll have a couple of these in between. Then around 7 p.m. I'll have breakfast. And when I say breakfast, I mean cereal. And you guys are probably going to think that this is an unhealthy way of eating. If people can have cereal for breakfast and if breakfast is supposed to be the most important meal to get you through your entire day, why can't you have cereal for dinner if you're just going to sleep after that? And try to opt for something like cornflakes. There are more healthier versions of cornflakes now that you can find. But however, I do have to say that I've been struggling to find cornflakes everywhere to so many different supermarkets and it's been a struggle to find cornflakes just the original plain cornflakes so if you guys know a place that i can get it please leave it in the comments below thank you thank you so much uh, that would be really really helpful so a couple of teaspoons of sugar is healthy i think it was two i'm not quite sure i'll have to double check and leave it below so sometimes i'll have cocoa pops for dinner just because i'm not a sweet person i don't like sweet things in general sometimes i'll have cocoa pops but most of the time i try to have something that has less sugar in it uh, which would be the healthier option. When I'm talking cereal for dinner, I mean a nice big bowl. This is the bowl that I use to eat my cereal every night. And you know, I've started to love it so much because it doesn't make me full. It doesn't make me feel heavy and bloated before bed. It keeps my stomach nice and light. Then I do some work or I play with the dogs. And by the time I wake up in the morning, I'm ready for that entire routine again. Just think about it this way. If you're going to wake up in the morning and have eggs for breakfast, you're going to have rice and curry for lunch. And then for dinner, you're going to have string hoppers or roti or pittu or kotto or whatever it is. All these things that I insanely love and I'm obsessed with Sri Lankan food is the best. It's not ideally practical if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to tone up. None of this makes sense. This is something that made me gain weight from November to December last year. So I would definitely recommend you guys to watch out or to try and eat smaller portions if possible. Tip number six is to try and eat clean. Now the whole process guys of getting your body to a better state or more healthier state which is more important uh, is to enjoy the process. If you're going to force yourself, now for example if you don't want to have cereal for dinner right, if you've tried it for a week and it doesn't work for you, do not force yourself. Find an alternative that you are going to enjoy. This is so important when it comes to changing your diet. If you're not going to enjoy it, it's not going to work. When I started this process, there was a few times that I wanted junk food. I craved burgers, pizza, and I just went for it and I ate it. I rewarded myself for having cereal for dinner. So whenever you have those cravings, it's super important to go for it and get it over with. Whereas thinking about it over and over again, saying, I want this, I want this, I want this. Like I completely get it. I'll be bored for one hour during my day and then I'll order Uber Eats, watch a movie and then just eat junk food for the entire one hour. So I get it. I love food too and I know the struggle. So whenever you have those cravings, definitely go for it. Another thing that I have avoided and I try to avoid most of my life is fizzy drinks. Fizzy drinks are so bad for you. They're full of sugar. They're so unhealthy. I know I just said to order junk food and enjoy it every now and then. But I feel like when it comes to fizzy drinks, it's super deadly because it's an addiction. If you're tired and if your go-to drink is Sprite or Coke, that's just going to be your go-to drink every single time you get tired. 
now i have seen these family members do this and it's so unhealthy and i i personally can't gravitate towards fizzy drinks unless it's in a cocktail and then i have to but i try to avoid it as much as possible another thing is once you start following these tips and you start eating less you start doing the brunch method you start having cereal for dinner you order that pizza you're not gonna eat like you did before for example when i order my favorite pizza i can eat one and a half to two slices and before i could have eaten four slices stomach starts to adapt and you almost feel sickly or you almost feel disgusted of the oily unhealthy food it also takes a turn in how you eat so your stomach starts to adapt to your new way of life i lost two inches from my waist and my hips in just two weeks by just following the steps i shared a video with you guys when i put the poll up of a video of my stomach and it's getting so much better and it's getting to where i want to be the most important thing is not to be skinny it's to be healthy i'm going to share with you guys a little bonus tip uh, that has helped me speed up the process is to do at least one activity that you enjoy during the week whether it's going for a jog or whether it's starting a dance class or whether it's yoga try and do something at least once a week i know everybody's busy and then make it twice a week thrice a week and get your body slowly moving so these are the tips that have helped me lose weight in the past one and a half to two months i hope you guys learned something from this video and i hope you guys are definitely going to try at least two or three things out of the six tips that i shared with you if there's anything unhealthy that i have shared in this video please leave a comment below because i want us to be able to communicate with each other and i want others to read your comments as well so that they can pick up what they want from it these are just the six tips that i work for me and please let me know if you guys prefer this camera or the other camera so that i can continue shooting with either whichever you guys prefer and i hope you guys have a nice week ahead and i'll talk to you guys soon bye